one of the great success stories, I think right after our great health care workers in this country, is all the men and women that are working to keep our food supply uh, strong and vibrant across the country. We've got farmers working in the fields. We got, uh, we got a thousand people here at this Virginia Distribution Center. It's really inspiring. For all of you who feel like you've been taken for granted for years, guess what, you're not anymore because people know that you're the ones that are supplying our grocery shelves, providing the food that we need. I always like to start, however, by first saying thank you to the American farmer, thank you to our farmer members, Bye. and thank you to those in our value chain. This morning, the mad rush to get store shelves stocked. Truck drivers are crisscrossing America. In the midst of this pandemic, unsung heroes on America's highways. Heading to the milk plant. Offload this milk, guys. Keep them shelves stocked up. Restaurant industry feeds America, feeds uh, the bodies, but feeds the souls. They are part of the DNA of what America is. Grocery store workers are considered essential employees. If they didn't go to work, those empty shelves would stay empty. I'm really grateful for all the people out there that are leaving their homes and putting themselves in danger for the benefit of everybody else. In this unprecedented crisis, I just want to thank all our American heroes, not only our doctors and nurses, but our farmers, our dairy producers, everybody that's keeping our food supply going. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I understand that this is an anxious time for many of us. Continue to stay safe, stay calm, and I have no doubt we will come out of this situation stronger as one thing. Our hospital workers, our first responders, and all the helpers, the supermarket stockers, the people who deliver our food, uh, uh, the people who are making takeout for us, the men and women who are keeping this country going. To all the hard working people in our grocery stores across the state of Texas, providing the food and the supplies that are in such high demand, thank you for working so hard. This is that whole of America approach. We got great partners out there in the food supply chain. They're part of the critical and essential workforce there. And it's a great American story.